Okay guys, here it is. The moment you've all been waiting for. This is the video. How we met and how we got engaged during a pandemic. Are you guys ready? <laughs> okay, first question is how did we meet? Am I going first or are you going first? I think you should go first. Okay. How did we meet? Um, so we met on a dating app. We met on Bumble. We met on Bumble, yeah. Um, I was on it mostly because my sister-in-law, I went to visit them and then she was like, why are you single still? And so she kind of like forced me to download it and like make a profile and stuff. Um, yeah. And then I was only on it for like a day or two. And when I saw Stephanie's profile, I was like, dang, this girl is so gorgeous. And it's like a little voice in my head was like, you need to pay money and like super swipe on her. And I was like, what the heck? Like, why would I do that? Like, why would I pay money for this? It's not even going to work. Keep in mind, he was a skeptic, guys. Yeah, I was a skeptic. But this little voice in my head was just like, do it. And then a uh, little voice in my head had never been there before telling me to do that. But yeah, so I did it, and that's kind of how we met. But yeah. I was on the app for about two days, um, and I got really overwhelmed because I had a lot of people messaging me, and it was, it was a thing. Like, I was very optimistic about going into online dating because I wanted to find someone that I could spend the rest of my life with. So I was being very intentional about who I was talking to. So I noticed that he super swiped on me and I was like, oh my goodness, this person actually paid money to like let me know that he really likes me, like my profile, you know? And I was like, okay. The only thing is guys like, his profile was not the best. <laughs> there was no pictures of him without his sunglasses. Like I was just like, I don't, I don't know, you know. But ooh, hey, sorry. These exact sunglasses. Yeah, those exact sunglasses. <laughs> so like, I really, honestly, just didn't know what to do. But then I was like, this guy paid money. Might as well just try to get to know him. So that's what happened, and that's what we did. So yeah, it was. It was interesting. And we met during the pandemic, guys. So yeah. keep that in mind. Like the, the peak of the pandemic. The peak of the pandemic, pretty much. So we actually did not get to meet up in person for almost a whole year after we first talked on Bumble. Yeah, we started, like, after we matched and we started talking, it took a whole year. And it was crazy. And then our whole journey to get to where we are right now, like, was very intense and very crazy so hopefully maybe we'll talk about that a little bit later okay guys so the next question is what was your first impression of me so what was our first impression of each other i guess me first yeah you go first okay um so the first impression i guess was like when we facetimed for the first time mm -hmm. um I, even the, before that, even like the first like couple messages, like I just thought that Stephanie was a really positive and like bubbly person, and she just had a lot of positive energy and positive vibes. Um, and she was just like a really kind and sweet person. And then first impression when we actually met up like physically, I was just like speechless. Like, she blew me away, and... What was the first thing I told you, babe? The first thing she told me was she, um, yelled at me. <laughs> well, not really yelled, but she, like, kind of exclaimed, because I picked her up from her house, and her mom was, like, watching us from the window. <laughs> and it was still, like, COVID, still happening. And her parents, her mom was reluctant to let us meet. But her first, her first words to me, she exclaimed, she was like, oh, Spencer, put your mask on! <laughs> And I'm sitting over here, like, acting, like, you know, being a dumb fool, like, jaw dropped, like, oh my god, this girl's so gorgeous, like, I can't believe we're, like, finally getting to meet each other, like, and by this point, we, like, I was already in love with her, because we had already been talking for, like, for, like a, year, a year, basically, pretty yeah. much, yeah. And so, yeah, that's the first word she said to me, put your mask on! <laughs> I said your name first, yeah. though, at least. <laughs> uh, my first impression of Spencer, well, 
I feel like when we started FaceTiming, I was just like, wow, this guy, like, has a long beard. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, because at the time, like, he was not upkeeping his beard, okay? It was, like, really long, and I was just like, is that, like... <laughs> You know, and like for me, like personal hygiene is like a oh, number one big thing. So I was just like, well, it was, he, babe, you were a little bit sloppy, I feel. Just a little <laughs> bit. But like, it's not like it was like a turn off or anything. It was just like, oh, okay. Like I wasn't expecting that because you know how like when you want to meet someone for the first time, you want to look your best. And like, I was just like, is, is, I mean, if that's what it is, that's fine. Like, I was fine with it. It's just that, like, I feel like I was, like, so, like, I need to make sure I look good. I need to make sure my makeup's on. And he was over here, like, with this long beard. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> In his pajamas. I'm just kidding. It was his, like, was loungewear. It was his loungewear. But I was over here trying to get all dressed up. But <laughs> it was funny. Um, but, no, and then I thought he was really sweet. I was like, oh, he's really funny. That was another thing. Like, he is the funniest person to me ever so that helps um <laughs> but let me see and then when we met in person i was just like oh my gosh he's so cute but then i was just like put your mask on because my mom is watching us but i thought he was the most handsome person ever i was just like oh he's just so cute and he was you were wearing your green pants those are my green pants. Yep. Like, and a black polo. And a black polo. Yeah. yeah, and I was just like, oh, he's so cute. And he was so nervous, I could tell. I was so nervous. <laughs> There's Deku. <laughs> okay, so, babe, next question is, what was our first date? Our first date? Mm-hmm. Um, our first date, we went to a park that had a big lake. And we had a picnic. And I like, you're out of focus. Yeah, I brought all of her favorite snacks and stuff, um, and some different drinks and a bottle of wine. But then she was too chicken to drink the wine at the park. <laughs> Guys, it said no, no alcohol on the premise, and I was like, <gasps> sorry, I'm such a goody yeah. two shoes. But yeah, no, we just hung out, had a picnic, and chatted, and then. Um, we did like some, I brought some Where's Waldo books and I Spy books and we just kind of hung out and had a nice time. Yeah, it was really nice, guys. He went all out for it, which was really nice. We had pizza afterwards, so that was nice. Sorry, baby, you're out of focus. That's okay. <laughs> you're the star of the show. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, it was really nice. And then we were going to go get ice cream, but we had to cut it short because I had to go home. Yeah. But it was a really nice day, I remember, and we got the cutest pictures. Yeah. So basically, though, our first date didn't happen to like how like almost like two weeks. It was about two weeks after we met. After we met, so technically, like it wasn't like our first date wasn't like the first time we met. It's a whole story. <laughs> okay, since we're talking about our first date, next question. <laughs> Hi, Deku. <laughs> Next question is... Hi, Deku. You want to answer the question? Next question is, what was your favorite memory from our first date? Deku's, like, pulling on my braid right now. <laughs> He's, like, biting your hair. <laughs> this is my puppy. This is Deku. He's, uh, He's a sweetie pie. He's very sweet. Yeah, very no, you know. Mm. <laughs> um, first memory from or favorite memory favorite from memory from our first date. Eat her hair. <laughs> what are you doing? He just wants to play a little. Yeah. That's what you get for getting him rope toys all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite memory was probably um man, I don't even know. <gasps> It was the whole thing was magical. Oh, the whole thing was magical. Yeah. I like that. Magical. <laughs> My favorite memory from my first date was when we did the Where's Waldo book. Yeah. Yeah, those were my favorite. Mm -hmm. I feel. Yeah. Like when we did like the I Spy. It's called the I Spy, right? I spy, the I Spy yeah. books. Like that moment was really sweet because we got to like cuddle a little bit yeah, and really lean nice. into each other so because yeah, <laughs> we were so shy in the beginning even mm. though like we shouldn't have been really <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean i just really liked how happy the whole day made you and how much you were smiling and i smiled a lot let's just put it that way <laughs> it's really really nice yeah 
Okay, babe, next question. Are our zodiac signs compatible? Um, so I'm an Aries. Mm -hmm. She's a Gemini. Gemini, indeed. Um, my moon is in Cancer, though, and my um, rising is in Cancer, so I'm a nice Gemini. Don't really know what that means. Well, um, your, your moon is in Aries and your rising is in, like, Libra or something like that. Something like that. Before I met her, I didn't know any of this stuff. Um, but Stephanie really likes the Zodiac stuff. She She's not like, oh, I have to follow it perfectly exactly, but she just thinks it's really interesting. Yeah. Um, so that why proxy means I also think it's interesting. <laughs> So guys, it's funny because I made him write a whole essay on how our zodiac signs were compatible. Well, you didn't make me. You, she kind of joked about it. Oh, I did. And then I like just did it and like surprised her. And yeah. she was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you actually did this. Yeah, he wrote a whole like yeah. essay on <laughs> how our zodiac signs are compatible. Yeah. <laughs> but I think they are pretty compatible actually, so. Well, I mean, the evidence speaks for itself. Pretty much. Okay. Babe, next question is, how did you know you wanted to marry me? How did I know I wanted to marry you? Mm -hmm. Um, I just kind of knew, like, really early on, just it was really it was easy to talk to you, and, like, you were so sweet and nice and generous, and, like, you're just honestly the best person I've ever met. Aww. Like, I don't know, like, my mom did a really good job, like, raising me, having, like, a good, like, moral compass, like, at least I feel she did, and so, like, I, that's something I was really highly valued in the potential partner, and then when I met you, it was very evident that, like, you're just, like, a really, really, really good person, and so I knew you'd be, like, an amazing partner on top of, like, you're just, like, have all these great qualities, like, you're gorgeous, you're really smart, like, I know you're gonna be a super good mom, like, it's all this awesome stuff, so, yeah. You're gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Babe, I love you so much. I love you too. How did I know I wanted to marry Spencer? Because, um, so, I mean, obviously I love him, he's amazing, he's funny, he's literally everything that I ever wanted, and, like, if I'm being honest, like I've told you before, babe, like literally like everything that I ever wanted, I wrote down, I was trying to manifest it because I was not in, very good, in a very good relationship before. And I was like, this is what I want. And I feel like God heard me and he was just like, here you go, here, here's your guy. <laughs> and honestly, the moment I knew that like I wanted to marry him was actually, um, it was when you, like, remember when you were taking care of Charlie? Yeah. So he was taking care of his, like, family um, dog, right? Or, like, your childhood dog. Yeah. One of his childhood dogs. And, like, he was old. And, like, just the way he was, like, taking care of him and, like, everything. Like, I knew. I was like, wow, he's going to be the best dad to our babies. And that's when I realized. I was like, I really want to marry this person. It was just super sweet and super cute, but yeah. But honestly, like I knew I wanted to marry him for a long time. Like literally, like before we met, we were always joking. They were like, "Oh, we're gonna get." Well, we weren't joking, I guess. But like we would always say, you know, "Good night, future husband. Good night, future wife." <laughs> so we kind of already like knew. Okay, here's another question. So next question is, when did you know you wanted to marry me? Um. When was that moment? So, we still hadn't met in person yet. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, I have to run this yellow light real quick. Um, so, we were we were just talking one night. We were FaceTiming. And Stephanie is a not... What's the opposite of a night owl? <laughs> early, early bird? Yeah, I don't, I don't stay up late, yeah, guys. she doesn't stay up late. I don't stay up late. But... Somehow I roped her into talking with me until like 3 a.m. on FaceTime. Pretty much. And she's practically asleep on the phone. And so finally I was like, I said something like, oh, I, 
I guess I'll let you go to bed now because like you're falling asleep <laughs> and she kind of yawns and she goes oh thank goodness I thought I was gonna have to use an escape rope to get out of this conversation and for those of you who don't know what that is that's an item from Pokemon <laughs> <laughs> the games and I'm a big gamer I'm a big nerd and so it just like I was just like oh my gosh did this girl just say that like she's such a nerd like just like me oh my gosh <laughs> And just like thought it was the cutest like funniest thing and like that was kind of like the first moment in my head where I was like boom, like I love this girl and I really want to marry her. So, yeah. There you go guys. Escape rope. <laughs> Play Pokemon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well I kind of already talked about when I knew I wanted to marry you. Like that moment just wore my heart. But like honestly like I just knew that I wanted to marry you. Just because like you listened to me and like I don't know like you like no one has ever spoken to me the way you have very sweet this camera died had to get another battery but anyways i just knew that spencer was it because he was just very kind and just the way he expressed himself and like it was there was like once like we knew that we liked each other like there was no what, like moment where i ever doubted that he liked me if that makes sense and i feel like that's kind of tricky nowadays, especially when you're dating. Because <laughs> um, we were, like, technically we weren't dating. We were just talking, you know. We were, like, in that talking phase. But it was it was just really nice. And I just loved the way that he carried himself and everything. The last question is, how did he propose? <laughs> Babe, you want to take over how he proposed to me? Sure. So, I'm, uh the word uh, a sap a sappy yeah. yeah i guess um so of course i wanted it to be like really sweet and like heartfelt um so kind of the basic premise was i recreated our first date where we we went on a picnic um this time we did a little more fancy though stephanie she like cooked the she prepared a whole bunch of like charcuterie board all these like picnic snacks and everything and she was under the impression that it was just our one year anniversary date. Um, yeah. <laughs> so she kind of was helping me prepare her own engagement <laughs> without knowing it. Um, but then I just included a lot of like sweet little sentimental things like like the, the whole picnic. We had like the I Spy books, uh, the Where's Waldo book. I took her to this park that had like a flower garden. Um, and then there was like a lake with these benches and like benches was a little inside joke from us because I would we played Animal Crossing and I had our my character sit next to hers on a bench and like tell her like we were like holding hands and we were gonna like smooch and then made her all embarrassed <laughs> and then the Pokemon stuff like the escape rope was how I knew that she, I loved her and we played a lot of the different Pokemon games together um, so her ring I put it inside of a not just a typical ring box but it was like a master ball which is another item for pokemon and it's to like capture your one of a kind like, legendary, legendary pokemon. so never fails yeah, once you use it never it. fails when you use it so I, I had to make sure you know that i caught my legendary my legendary wife <laughs> so. yeah but he basically he recreated our first date and like i honestly was not expecting it and he hired a photographer and everything so that was really sweet um yeah, it was such a good day. I ugly cried, like, for real. Yeah, big time. Like, really big time, yeah. <laughs> but it was nice, and then we got pizza afterwards, and then we spent, like, the rest of the evening pretty much calling everyone who was, like, close to us. So, mm -hmm. like, I called my parents. Well, because he asked my parents for their permission, for their permission to marry me. So they already kind of had an idea that it was happening. So that was really nice. And, like, I know my parents, like, really appreciated that, so... There was that, and then we like called like my sister and my brother-in-law. We called his brother and his sister-in-law. We were just calling everyone. <laughs> I told all my friends. It was really fun. It was an exciting time. Okay, guys, so those are all the questions we are going to be answering today. So basically, now you know the whole story about how we got engaged during a pandemic. <laughs> so if you guys would like, we would definitely love to share more about ourselves and our love story and all of that good stuff. So if you guys want to see kind of like maybe be a video about questions you should ask one, one another before you get married. We'd definitely be interested in doing something like that. 
that or if you guys have any ideas please let us know down below but if you're looking forward to that video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so you guys can follow along on our journey and if you want to see more videos we will go ahead and link our wedding series here for you guys there's tons of good videos we've done a lot of wedding planning still a lot of wedding planning to go so we hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to stay beautiful and amazing and we love you guys bye beautiful person bye everyone see you next time you said baby i'm not feeling it like